Okay, hello there, and welcome to my uh, Battlefield 4 commentary of poop. Just kidding. You know, I really like my poopies monger name, you know, it really describes me well. Just kidding. No, but like I really wish I could change it because I want to get serious in YouTube now. Like I want to actually post good commentaries over things, and I don't want people to take me as a joke because that's what my name is. It's just poopies monger. Like what the hell? It's like a five-year-old name, but... Anyways, so here I'm playing on my Battlefield 4. Yes, I'm playing on my Battlefield 4. Look at it. It's beautiful. Like, those textures. So gorgeous. But, anyways. So, what's going on here is, um... I have my uh, NVIDIA GeForce 740M. 64-bit edition. And before, I was playing on medium graphics with low settings. And I was only getting 30 FPS when I was recording. 40 FPS when I wasn't, but 30 FPS when I was recording. And now I did some tinkering to my computer, did some updated settings, and I'll, it'll come up in just a second of what I'll show you what my GPU looks like right after I think I die here. If I don't, no, never mind. Okay. Alright, so I'm actually playing on ultra settings of 720p now. Like, I'm playing my textures are ultra, my post process, and everything, like the lighting and effects are low, my mesh quality, terrain. Uh, praying tech quality and decoration, both ultra. Anti aliasing post is on high. My ambient collision is SSAO. So I'm playing on fairly good graphics, and like the game looks beautiful, looks stunning. And 30 FPS is playable. Like if you have a console, if you're used to console generation, this is more playable than you can ever imagine. It looks way better than the Xbox 360 and the PS4. Like there's every, all, everything just looks stunning. I would say it looks just almost just about as good as the the PS4 version and the Xbox One version, minus the awesome effects. Here's my dog. Hey, Sydney. What are you doing? Oh, it's lazy. <sighs> I know. Sigh. This guy I missed terribly, but I capped him in the butt. Pew, 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 and capped him in the pooper. Anyways. Yeah. So, basically, I'm just showing you exactly how I could play this. And... You know, now I have them. Now I don't have any. I'm not doing a live commentary. I tried to do a live commentary, but it came out really choppy, and I don't know why. But whatever, that's okay. So I'm gonna do just the commentary over it. Sydney, shut up. Lay down. Lay down. Good dog. I'm lazy. You fatty. Anyways, that's my dog, Sydney. She's uh, quite a cute little fella. Hey. Eh? Yeah. No. Anyways. I say that a lot. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Basically, if if anyone is thinking about getting this like GPU, like I I would I recommend it. No, like I, I would never recommend this card. It's like really crappy. Like, oh, I I really am jealous of people that get the 60 FPS like ultra experience. And people are just probably like some like high end PC guys are just laughing at this video. It's like oh, well at least he's playing an ultra graphics kind of <laughs> kind of thing, but. Like, yeah, if, and if you get any other GPU, like, like an actual, like, uh, desktop GPU, it, it would run this game just fine. Like, if you deal with a laptop, you have to deal with overheating problems, you have to deal with frame drops all the time if you go over your recommended FPS kind of thing, if you don't lock it. But yeah, you gotta remember, this is a laptop GPU, this is literally, the game looks a lot smoother than on Bandicam, because Bandicam, like, records at, like, 20 FPS, and it's, like, really, it's probably the crappiest recorder you can buy, honestly, like, like it literally hits your performance so much and it just it just destroys your computer. But yeah, anyways, it's it's on it's it's okay. It's like this game is still very playable. It it's it looks gorgeous, you know. Yeah. But anyways, I'll tell you exactly guys how I got the, to the tinkering kind of part of it. So basically what I did to get the game to run as good as it does now is I uh I what I what I do is is I uh, unpark my CPU. If any of you doesn't know what that means, uh, look it up, and I would highly recommend it. Like sure, if, like if you want battery life, pff, then you're probably not getting a gaming laptop because you're probably gonna have to plug it in all the time because it's gonna die. Because you're gonna probably want to get the most performance possible if you're buying a crappy one. But yeah, so if you're buying battery life, then just don't bother, I guess, with this. But what you do, what what it does, if you have Intel cores, if you have more than one core in your computer, 
which I'm sure most computers <laughs> do nowadays anyways. But what Intel does is they, uh, because like this one's this one's got a four core and eight virtual threads and uh, virtu eight virtual uh, cores with hyper threading. I don't even know. I think the guy just left the game right there. But um, what happened is uh, what you do is pretty much what what a part CPU is pretty much Intel built builds into their computer is uh they build in like it's so idle so it saves power so not like not not your PC is not being used to its whole potential all the time. Like the cores are being like kind of like cut off, so only a certain amount of cores are being used, and then the rest are just kind of like sitting there idling, trying to save power. But what this does is, uh, it basically allows every single core to be used to its full potential. So cores that aren't used for gaming are now used for gaming, and it just the whole game is being way way better. And that literally gave me another 10 FPS. Like if I recorded at my old settings, I get to record it easy at 50 FPS. Like I could record it, and then if I let it go. It probably hit, it would hit nearly 60, like it would go to 60 and then it would go down to like 55 and it would just kind of be around the 50 60 range. But because of the fact that like my GPU is like really stupid and like if it, if it gets like higher than it wants to be, then it'll just drop down like to 20 FPS no matter what. It's, it's really weird. But yeah, this is recording, so remember when I'm talking about recording, Bandicam takes a lot of performance away. So you guys, if you have this card, you can get a lot more performance out of it. This is also a pretty easy map to run, but if it's a harder map, you just lower some of the settings. Like, you put it to high or something like that. Or you can, like, get rid of ambient occlusion or lower your anti-aliasing, and you could still hit that 30 FPS on every single map, I guarantee you. And even some maps, like, you can, there's still more tinkering than I could still do to this that I haven't done yet, but... You can probably get, like, 45 FPS-ish, 40 FPS on any game, you know, if you did some more tinkering kind of thing, and yeah. Just messed around with the settings a little bit, yeah. You yeah. put in your own kind of additions to it, but yeah. Anyways, you can see me here, like swimming. It's really weird. They need to fix how the water comes through the floor like that. It's kind of derpy. <sighs> it's tired. I'm tired right now. Like right now, I'm doing this at like 4:30 a.m. I should be going to bed. My parents should be getting up in like half an hour. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but you know, whatever. I you see, I really want to get serious with YouTube now, and I really want to make my channel grow because I love gaming, and I really want to make it something I do because this is pretty much my life. I've been doing it all my life, and I've graduated high school with honors. I went to college, and I literally, I I don't know. There's nothing for me to do like I don't want to do any of those education like when I was doing my program like yeah they were all really easy I was doing a science program like all these sciences and everything but they're all really easy but I just didn't want to do it because that's just not the way I want to get set on YouTube like right now like I'm, I want to be a pilot I already have my glider pilot's license I posted a video of me flying before in Trail BC and my profile picture is actually me in my glider that I was flying but this summer I'm gonna go get my full power pilot's license and I'm going to uh, just like get my commercial pilot's license by saving up money by like living in a job for like four years living with my friends but if YouTube does become big for me then that's gonna be my whole changing life moment kind of thing and then I can do everything that I love but right now I'm always a only tiny but I want to get serious with YouTube but anyways you can also change like back to battlefield you can also change some configs to files and like change your world render settings and everything so you can change settings just the way you like it you know like this game is not even running at its full potential yet but it will be soon I'm sure and I'm sure DICE is gonna fix that thing something that DICE has gotta fix is the fact that like when uh good, good girl Sydney but when uh when, when you're loading a game when it says error game disconnected and then you reload it and it does that like every like two matches for me I don't I don't even know why like it's so derby and that was my first frame draw and it was literally for like half a second so if I wasn't recording that would never even would have happened so this this card is actually just great like I don't know like I'm kind of loving it right now but you know my PS4 obviously runs the game better so I'm gonna play it on that I'm also like I'm also on the PS4 I was uh, number one in the world for anti-air kills but We'll see. I haven't played it for a while, so I'm probably not anymore, but I'm in the top 30. Anyways, uh, this video is coming to an end, so 
Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.